Hey guys, how's it going? DUJ2 here, and welcome back to Fortnite Save the World, and welcome to the Coming Soon video. This week's Coming Soon video is going to be huge. So let me get a couple things out of the way first. Uh, first of all, this is the Coming Soon video wrapping up version 7 and looking towards version 8 that will be here this week as well as a bunch of other big things that's happening so let me start by saying first of all thank you <laughs> thank you to all of you guys out there all of you using my supporter creator code you guys are fantastic you guys are absolutely incredible thank you so much for using it in save the world battle royale and in the epic game store you guys are just I have no words apart from thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate the support. You guys are incredible. Thank you. Second of all, um, I'm going to try and get through this whole video. I have I've actually made myself a bunch of notes because I have to get through all of this correctly. So we're going to try and stay on point. Uh, and having said that, this video may be a little long. Also, I have a really something going on with my throat right now. I am coughing up quite a bit. So hopefully it doesn't happen. If it does, I apologize for the coughing that could potentially happen in this video. And lastly, check that out. Um, 800 V-Bucks in two days. I am due 800 V-Bucks in two days. And this is fantastic news. Fantastic news because, well, actually tomorrow. I'm due 800 V-Bucks tomorrow. Uh, and like I said, this is absolutely incredible news because, um, because of this. You guys ready? Check it out. I got the goods. <laughs> hey, what you doing? Two. Yes. Two mythic heroes are in my life. Two mythic heroes. Why am I in? I don't know why I'm going there. Uh, two mythic heroes are coming to my life very, very soon. Uh, yes, that's it, guys. I have two mythic heroes. Do I want to keep these settings? No, I don't. I don't know why my settings are all messed up right now. I guess window full screen. I, I don't know. There we go. Um, I, I noticed my my uh, my graphics were weird. But anyway, uh, I've got two mythic heroes in my life right now. Check it out. Um, I'm, we're going to have to get this one Marlon Kingsley, which I don't believe I, I don't have either of them or Mishiro Samurai Tofune double the mythic heroes for 500 V bucks. We're definitely going to get those at the end of this video. So let's start talking about what we need to talk about. And that is coming soon this week. We've got three big topics to talk about. We've got version eight that is going to be dropping on Thursday. Along with that, the new hero loadout, which again, we're going to dive into it a little bit. And also the AMA, the Ask Me Anything that's going to happen on Reddit for Save the World with the Save the World developers. Now, this may sound a little bit... Um, I, you guys, you probably have already heard of it. You may not. In case you haven't, the reason why I haven't really talked about it before is because the last time they did an AMA... Um, I, I talked a lot about it beforehand. We were really prepared. We were really waiting for it. And then the AMA was not what we expected. Now, this one is supposed to be a bit different. This one is supposed to be, um, it's going to be a little different. Let me pull it up over here. Uh, so we can talk about it a little bit. Where is my, there it is. Okay. So we're going to talk a little bit. There is the save the world AMA. They did announce it three days ago. Uh, and like I said, I didn't make a video about it. I didn't really talk about it then because I wanted to wait and see what direction they were going into. And here it is. Hey, everyone. We'll, we'll be hopping in with the Save the World team to answer your questions. Join us for a Fortnite, uh, for a Fortnite Save the World AMA on this subreddit Wednesday, February 27th from 4 to 5 p.m. Eastern. I'm actually think I might even be live on stream. Uh, when this happens and we can talk about it as it as it's progressing uh, who will be there? We're gonna have one two three people four people from design and hero loadout uh, Sorry four people from this one person from production three from design one of them is from hero loadout and someone from engineering um, Of course if you guys want to go check this out I'll leave a link down below under this there's a bunch of questions that people have been posting 
Um, and again, you guys can make up your own minds of what you think of the questions. Like I said, I will be, I will be talking about this. I will be covering this, you know, when it actually happens and after. So expect tomorrow evening, you guys are going to see a video of me talking about all this. Um, but as important as this is, as wonderful as communication is, because communication is really important. Um, I, I don't want to focus too much on this because I want to focus on a lot of other things now, including with what I'm about to talk about right now, which is going to be the version eight and hero loadout. I am also going to be releasing a, a bit of a let's talk probably, probably sometime Wednesday, sometime Wednesday. I'm going to talk with you guys because there's, there's a lot that we've been talking about recently about save the world and a lot of different things and theories and people the, the most common question that i've been receiving lately is well the two questions what do i think what's coming for version 8 and guys i'm sorry i don't know <laughs> i am not privy to any special information that you guys might not be i don't know what's coming in version 8 i only know what you guys know um and also the second question that people have asked me is do I think that version eight is the end or do I think that what do they need to do to get version eight right? What do the whole thing? And I, I kind of really went down. A, I went down a really deep rabbit hole considering this, this, and I went all the way back to like version five with the blockbuster uh, version six, what happened in version seven. And I made a connection with a lot of the different both heroes and weapons that we've been getting in save the world ever since version five and a lot of different things that have happened especially since ever especially since uh since uh, battle royale came out since battle royale came out we've seen a lot of different things in this game progress and happen and i believe that uh, it really is because i mean battle royale is huge battle royale is very very popular and it completely makes sense how a company like, you know, Epic would consider putting a lot of more resources into a more popular version of the game and, you know, just what what that means and what happens. And what we've been seeing lately, uh, actually not lately for the few versions now, what we've been seeing, all of the different changes, the UI, the big, beautiful UI changes, uh, the per perk recombobulator system, amazing, amazing the shop, the seasonal gold, all of these changes that we've seen that have come to improve the, the game mechanics, the game mechanics that have been changed and improved in the game, which have come to, they've taken this game into a beautiful direction, beautiful direction, guys. It's amazing where we are right now in the game. But the fact that we are forced to look at the grass is greener on the other side kind of thing which has kind of blinded us and really just it's been like the sun shining in their eyes we can't see a lot of the stuff that's been in front of us and because of that and i'm saying this now because i i believe that version 8 is not going to be what we expect it to be i believe version 8 is going to be a very very different concept so we're going to be talking about that very soon. Like I said, I'm going to make a video just talking about why I think where we are. I, I still don't know how, what to title it. How did we get here? Why do, why are we here? What do I think is going to happen in version eight? Why, why I love save the world and not for the reasons that a lot of people think I do. Um, it's, it's a beautiful game. It's a massive, immersive, beautiful game. And I think we, we have been looking at the in the wrong direction for a lot of things. So, like I said, I'll be making that video very, very soon. I'll be finishing working on it. I've been working on some talking points for that video. Uh, and hopefully that video will be coming out hopefully tomorrow before version 8 releases. But if we look over the Save the World roadmap, we can see here, week of 226, hero loadout, revamp of the hero system. Now, according to this, the update should be tomorrow night, right? I mean, that's that's what this says. Uh, the 226 today is 225. Tomorrow should be 226, which means we should have, we should have, we should have it, right? We should have uh, patch notes tomorrow morning. I don't think that's going to be the case more because people have said that they have said that um, version or season eight is going to go live um, Thursday morning. And also it also makes sense because we are going to be having 
this AMA tomorrow, as well as a Save the World Hero Loadout um, blog that's going to be happening, which I'm also going to be talking about that in a second. So let's take this down for a second and let's dive a little bit into in more into that. So I'm not going to be showing this on screen, but if you guys want to, what you can do is you can go to the Fortnite Reddit and you can look up Magis. Everyone knows who Magis is. If you don't know who it is, they are they work for Epic Games. They are very active on Reddit. They're kind of like the face of Epic for a lot of us on Reddit. And that means that a lot of people do, you know, direct a lot of anger towards him, I'm thinking. Uh, but you know what? he he has really stuck in there and i have to commend him for a lot of the progress that he's made in advancing this communication but uh he said something a little uh, a while ago and i'm just going to read it for you guys um he did say six hours ago he said i know you guys are eagerly waiting on the hero loadout blog i will post as soon as i have all the languages localized i promise eta is tomorrow for the blog and the video coming on wednesday so according to this Tomorrow, Tuesday, we are going to have a hero loadout blog, which is going to be a post and it's going to explain to us how this is going to happen. Now, if you guys remember, we had this for the UI. We had a uh, blog for the UI detailing some of the changes, even though we didn't get a chance to really get hands on with it. We're going to be able to see what they're trying to do with the new hero system, uh, how the loadout is going to work, how it's going to be organized, what it means for save the world going forward because again this is a vital game mechanic that is being changed and i'm going to be using that word a lot especially tomorrow during the video game mechanic the mechanics that are in this game and within the game how they have just radically been changing over time and what that means for us uh and then six hours ago he said we're aiming to have the blog go out tomorrow tuesday and the video out on wednesday of course i will be doing a video as soon as the blog drops as well uh, and the video out on Wednesday. I'm not going to be showing you guys the video, but I will be talking about it. I kind of feel like the video might show us in action what happens, whereas the blog is kind of going to be like the UI blog, kind of just explaining the overall picture of everything. Uh, the blog is in, yeah, it says right there, is a more in detail write up of the feature. Uh, after reviewing that, you could have plenty of information regarding the system. And <clears throat> they say, uh, we'll have someone from the hero team available on the AMA day to answer any additional follow-ups everyone may have. So hopefully we are going to see a lot of these changes, a lot of this uh, conversation, and we're going to be able to see a lot of what is, they may talk about what's coming. And But again, I really don't want to focus about what's coming yet, but want to focus more on what we have. And I hope that's what's going to happen in the AMA. Uh, I, I didn't get a chance to put in some questions because I had some questions that I really wanted to ask them, but I I wanted to see where they were going to take it. I want to see what their direction in the what their direction in the whole concept is. What it is that they want to do with what it is they want to do with it. What what do they want to do with save the world? Because as I said before, uh, and as I'll be talking tomorrow, this game is is huge, guys. This game is beautiful. It. For if, if you pick it up on sale for $20, you are getting yourself a beta game that is expansive, worked through. It's amazing, guys. This game is absolutely amazing. And I really want to see what they want to tell us. So in like in the AMA, I'm kind of hoping that, yes, there are certain questions that people ask them, but I really would like to hear from them what it is that they're trying to do, what it is that the direction they're trying to take us. And that is kind of like what I want to talk about next. And that is not perfecting, sorry, perfecting, not focusing on new uh, and the communication of it. But by that, what I mean is I really want to see save the world, like what they've been doing that again, like I said, <clears throat> I'll talk more about it tomorrow, but we haven't really noticed what they've been doing, how they've been doing it. They've been working on this game and developing and fine tuning a lot of mechanics in the game, like the UI, the perk recombiner system, the store, now the hero loadout, all of these different things that they've been working on to balance, to work on. And a lot of that is not really noticeable because 
what we're noticing on and what we're kind of focusing on when there is a game make breaking bug, when there is a glitch, when there's something that happens, uh, when we get an event that's recycled and like the Fort Nightmares, when we get something that might be a little different, but, you know, we are stuck. And I say this and I hopefully try and say this in a nice way. We're stuck with it for an entire version for three whole months. And even though, you know, like with Frost Knight, there was a different a slightly different challenge each week it was still the same map the same heroes the, the sorry the same enemies the same layout everything was the same there was no real change in it so it felt very stale after a while and that's fine again that's fine i i'm okay with them doing that i'm okay with them you know using that and saying like you know fort numbers is coming back uh, Frost Knight is coming back. The Spring It On event event is coming back. What, whatever is coming back, I'm okay with them bringing it back as long as they tell us. As long as they communicate with us and say, listen, we're working on this. <laughs> we're working on the Hero Loadout. We're working on Candy Valley Story. We're working on Twine Story, hopefully. Uh, or whatever, you know. We're working on a game mechanic within the game. And because of that, because we are focusing so much time and effort on this, that we are not going to be working on a new event there's not going to be a radically new new thing to it it's just going to be it's going to be a previous event slightly changed but be, we're doing this because we're focusing on this game mechanic we're focusing on this serious thing that needs to be fixed or worked on and talking about serious things that need to be fixed i really hope that they address in the ama the xbox stuff or in, and especially the research and upgrade point system thing that for a lot of people is still not working. There are some major, major things within the game that really need to be addressed, you know, to try and advance. Uh, and again, as long as they tell us again, that's what I'm saying. Communication. Uh, communication feels like that would be the best thing. It's OK for them to say, you know, we're not going to be doing this. We're not going to be this doing this huge fancy update. You're not going to get this up because we're working on something else. This game is in beta after all. And it's okay for it to be, I hate to say this, but it's okay for it to be a little boring because that's the whole point of being in beta. Testing stuff out, trying new stuff. It works, it doesn't work. Revamping the whole thing and progressing the game to get it to a point where it's polished enough to release and hopefully go free to play and open a whole new world of possibilities for so many people out there now the last thing i want to say here is i want to finish uh about talking with and this is goes along with um with the up with the communication factor and that is the development update i think this is the okay let me turn this off over here um when i talk about that it's I really hope that we see both more roadmaps and more developer updates or developer um, development updates, developer roadmaps, all of that stuff. I, I really hope that we see more of this. Seeing this over here is wonderful. Knowing that this is what's coming this week. Um, the hero loadout is coming. There's going to be there's changes with the season of gold and hero loadout system. Um, as for the hero loader itself, we're providing an in-depth vlog, which like I said, we're going to have tomorrow. The update video will probably be here Wednesday. Uh, they'll also be making some complementary changes to raise a, a ease of transition periods, such as updating quest rewards to minimize duplicate hero rewards, marking all the heroes eligible for reset, uh, adding eight quests, each of which is for a hero for a reward, making it so you'll be able to acquire a few event heroes that you may have missed and are normally recruitable. And yeah, going forward like that. So it's, it's nice to see this. And... Let, let me wrap up with this. Um, and I, I say this, I say this a lot uh, constantly on my streams and sometimes in videos because I feel like when the roadmaps, when the developer roadmaps and the developer updates were happening at the beginning of the game, they were really extensive. They would tell us about all this stuff that they had planned, all these things that were coming. It was like we've got a hero coming this week and this is coming this week and we're working on this and they they shared with us their full timeline which was really great but at the same time i feel like a lot of us felt like okay so you're giving us all this but what else and that's something that's really not that great to do too and what i've said before about um what i've said before about you know about 
data mining and stuff like that. I kind of feel like it's not the best thing. And 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 bear with me for a second because let me try and explain this. As a game developer, I think that one of the greatest things they can do is surprise us. Is give us something that's like, wow, that's amazing. And for us to dive into something and talk about and pick apart things that they haven't released to us yet, it, it can be a little disheartening. I'm sure that sometimes the developers might be like, why are they focusing on all this stuff that has yet to come out in weeks? And not focusing on the stuff that we've worked on really hard to release right now. So that's why you guys, because someone did ask me today why I don't talk about it and why I don't, you know, talk about the 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 upcoming updates and all the, you know, the data mines and all that. Um, it's because I like to focus. I want to focus on what we have right now. And when something comes in the future, you know what? I want to be surprised then. I, I want to be surprised then with what comes out and be like, oh, I didn't know this was coming, <laughs> you know, kind of thing. So I, I, that's kind of why, and that's why when people say, you know, why do I feel so strongly about that? It's because I, I want to be surprised. I want to be surprised. I want to give them a chance to surprise me. And um, yeah, that, that's pretty much how I feel about the whole data mining and everything. And finally, that's it for the coming soon. Uh, like I said, I know I did gloss over a lot of things. The big things here that are coming soon is version 8 update with the hero loadout. And who knows what else is coming. New weapons, new heroes, etc. And the AMA, which is going to be happening tomorrow. Uh, like I said, I, I will probably be watching as they do it. Uh, I'll probably be streaming so we can kind of follow along and, and talk about what they're going to be doing and what they're going to be talking about. Actually, yes, yes, I no, I won't. No, I won't. I won't be able to be here that long. Well, we're going to do what we can. <laughs> um, and of course, the video, the developer, uh, the hero loadout blog will be out tomorrow as well as a video on Wednesday. So there we go. That is the things that are coming up this week. So much is coming soon. It's crazy. Um, I'm sure we're going to be seeing some amazing stuff in the game. Don't forget, of course, on Wednesday morning, I'll also be doing this video talking about the, the shop. I am sitting on right now at 11,847 gold. I think that's enough to get everything. So I'll probably be talking about that and doing a recommend video Wednesday morning about what I recommend for you guys to get. And finally, if you guys watched my previous video <coughs> where I opened 50, I started <coughs> my 50,000 ticket opening video. Uh, a lot of you guys noticed that I wasn't talking. It's because of this. <coughs> it's because yesterday I couldn't say two words without coughing like crazy. So I kept it. I kept it quiet. Uh, I let the I let the llama speak for me. <laughs> and uh, I also asked you guys to do this. So uh, to let me know. And if you guys want, you can still vote on this. At the time of me doing this, which uh, of me checking this out. Uh, which was several hours ago there were 400 over 400 votes and overwhelmingly people want me to open 50 new year llamas so the second part of that video will be 50 new year llamas unless overnight tons of you go and vote and you vote for more winter llamas i don't know i'll leave it up to you guys you guys are going to get to do that if you guys want to check out uh, i'll leave a link down below in the description this is going to be this is on my community page over in on my channel so if you guys want to be a part of that you just go to the community page you can vote you can put a comment i'd love to hear you guys so that's it that's it let's go ahead and finish by purchasing this beautiful llama uh this very very beautiful llama <coughs> that is giving me two mythics two mythics in one guys two mythics in one llama oh yes sweet loot there they are Oh my gosh, look at them. Look at them. They are gorgeous. I am so happy. I am so happy. Let's check out what these other guys have. Uh, the hack, ass, hack, hack Axe has a, caused affliction. This Siege Breaker is causing affliction. This Revenant's Worth is causing affliction. And three more legendary survivors. Gosh, man. Come on, man. Look at this. This is probably one of the best llamas I've had. Two Mythic Heroes. Three legendary... Uh, sorry, two mythic survivors, lead survivors, three legendary survivors. I think I'm almost done. 
I think I may almost be done. Am I almost done? I may almost be done. Let's check real quick. Uh, I think I may have the full... Actually, this is going to be a better way to look at it. Better way to look at it is going to be to the collection book and going to personnel. Lead survivors, unique leads. <gasps> oh, oh, you can kind of see them who they are now. I am only missing... Wait, why? I'm missing one, two, three, four. Four, five. Five heroes. Actually, I think she's in... Yeah. So I need five more. Five more and I can... Wow. And I have some of this that have multiples. Why are these not showing up correctly? I'm kind of curious. That, that, that was kind of weird, actually. I thought they showed up differently. Yeah, because I have multiples of some of them. Why was it not showing my multiples? And I do have her. Wow, guys. This is crazy. This is crazy. I am so close to... Wow. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Again, thank you so very much for all of you supporting me in Save the World and uh, in the Epic uh, ep the Content Creator, the Supporter Creator Program. Thank you so much, guys. You guys are amazing. I appreciate you all so very much. Thank you. I don't think you guys realize what a huge impact you're making in my life. And for that, thank you so very much. I really appreciate it. If you guys enjoy this video, if you enjoy what I do on my channel, please, please, please do me a huge favor and have yourself a wonderful day. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Uh, there will be the llama opening video coming soon, as well as the AMA blog, as well as the AM, uh, the, sorry, the hero loadout blog, the AMA video, the other video where I want to go just, um, it's going to be a very ranty video about how I feel where, how we got to where we are and everything, as well as the Wednesday morning update, uh, Wednesday morning video talking about, you know, the shop and everything, the weekly reset video. There's a lot of videos coming, guys. In the next few days and this week, you guys may see multiple videos from Save the World and other games, too. So, thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you guys next time. You guys have a wonderful night. See ya.